Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, I wanna take a look at an action potential. First thing you need to be aware of is that a neuron is an excitable tissue. That means it has the capacity to do something. What does it do? Well, it sends a signal, an electrical chemical signal, and it can do it because it has a resting membrane potential. That's a charge difference from the inside of the membrane compared to the outside. And the charge difference is actually, actually negative 70 millivolts inside compared to the outside. And I've drawn that up right here. Now, we want the neuron to send a signal. How do we do it? Well, there's gonna be particular channels on the outside of this neuron. These channels are gonna pick up excitatory neurotransmitters like glutamate, for example. So glutamate's gonna come along, bind to these receptors and open these channels up. And these channels allow for positive ions to move in. Ions like sodium and calcium. Now, if these positive ions move in, they're carrying that positive charge inside with it. And if it carries that positive charge inside, it moves from negative 70 millivolts to something more positive. If it moves from negative 70 to negative 55, negative 55 is the threshold. It's the key. The key to what? Well, if it becomes negative 55 around this area, it's going to open up the first voltage-gated sodium channel. That's the key to open it up. If this channel opens up, positive sodium will move into the cell. If enough positive sodium moves in that it goes from negative 70 to negative 55 in this area, it's going to open up the next channel of sodium. Again, if it hits negative 55 in this area, the next sodium channel, what you can see is a domino-like effect of positive sodium moving into the neuron, going down the neuron. This is simply the action potential. This is the signal that's being sent by all, all the neurons of our body. Now, if enough positive sodium moves in that it goes from negative 55 up to positive 30, this is the key to close the gates and the gates shut. But it's also the key to open up some more channels, potassium channels, and positive potassium will start to move out of the cell, carrying its positive charge with it, which means it becomes negative again inside and it starts to drop down. Now, if enough positive potassium moves out, it can go below negative 70, go to negative 90, and this is called hyperpolarization, and this allows for another signal not to be sent. We need to reset all this. How do we do it? With sodium potassium ATPase pumps.